hello welcome back if this is the first video you are seeing in the playlist please kindly go to my youtube channel there's a playlist titled igcs in mathematics paper 4 3 may june 2024 there are three videos for questions 1 2 and 3 respectively question 4 in this question all the measurements are in centimeters the area of the triangle is equal to the area of the square so we can say that the area of the triangle denoted by a sub root t is equal to area of the square denoted by a sub root s okay so show that 3r squared plus r minus 6 equals to 0 okay so uh, the area of the triangle can start from here which will equals to uh, the product of these two sides okay multiplied by sine of angle between them so that will be okay i think i can write here so that will be um, r plus 2 okay into r plus 5 okay so multiply by sine of angle between them that is sine 30 then everything divided by 2 that is the area of this triangle because the area of this square will be r plus 1 squared okay so let's simplify this now so this will be sine 30 equals to uh, 0 0.5 or 1 over 2 so if we bring it down here okay so this is it will be okay r plus 2 into r plus 5 okay so this will be times 1 over 2 so don't forget that we have uh, over 2 here too so that will be uh, over 4 okay so equals to so to expand this square the first one that is r squared the product of the two r times 1 that is r multiplied by 2 that is 2r then uh, the square of the last number second number that was 1 squared which is 1 okay so this oh sorry i didn't utilize my space very well so this will be equals to okay let me see what can i do okay so i think i can do i can manage this place so this is equals to r squared plus 2 r plus 1 so let's demarcate this okay so if you write this very well so this will be r plus 2 okay i think we can expand this straight away from here so let's expand this okay these two brackets it will be r times r so that will be r squared so plus 5 r plus 2 r plus 10 everything over 4 that is 2 times 2 equals to r squared plus 2 r plus 1 so uh, we need to so this is one okay expression so this is one here okay so if you cross multiply so four we multiply this okay so that means wow okay so that means we have um this one here let's repeat this one r squared okay plus 5r plus 2r that will be 7r plus 10 to be equals to uh, 4 into bracket r squared plus 2r plus 1 so let's open this bracket so that will be r squared plus 7r plus 10 will be equals to this is plus so to be equals to 4r squared plus 8r plus 4 so if you rearrange okay so it will be uh, 4r squared is by the right hand side here so to be 4r squared then plus think uh, we can bring uh, this let's bring r squared that is minus r squared to the right hand side so the sign changes then we have plus 8r then 7r we'll go to the right hand side it becomes minus 7r then plus um, 4 then minus 10 equals to 0 so if you, if you simplify this 4r squared minus r squared that will be 3r squared plus 8r minus 7r that will be plus 1r then 4 plus 4 minus 6 that will be minus 6 equals to 0 so we have shown uh, this okay so that is uh, very correct so part b solve the equation 3r squared plus r minus 6 equals to 0 give your answer to two decimal places your answer you must show all your working okay so from here a equals to 
3b is equals to 1 and c equals to negative 6. So using the formula r equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything over 2a. So if you key in the values, so you have r to be equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of b squared. In this case, you have 1 squared minus 4 into 3 into negative 6 everything over 2 into 3 so if you simplify this you have minus 1 plus or minus uh, square root of so this will be 1 and this will be plus 72 everything over 6 so you can still simplify this further so it will be equals to minus 1 i think we can use the other side Okay, let's rule up so it will be um so r will be equals to minus one plus or minus square root of 73 over six which is the same as minus one plus or minus so this will give us um 8.54 over six okay so r will be equals to minus one plus 8.54 over six or r equals to minus 1 minus 8.54 over 6. So let's complete that. So this will give us r to be equals to um, 1.26. Okay. So or r to be equals to minus 1.59. So these are the two values of r. So you can say r is equals to 1. 0.26 or r equals to minus 1.59 okay so that is pretty easy so let's go to part c find the perimeter of the square so the perimeter of the square will be uh, the addition of the four sides so and this is a square all the sides are equal so the perimeter will be 4 times r plus 1. So let's go back. So the perimeter denoted by p will be equals to 4 into r plus 1. So of course, r can never be a negative uh, number. So because no side is negative. So it should be uh, r will be equals to 1.26. So perimeter will be equals to 4 into 1.26 plus 1. Perimeter will be equals to 4 into 2.26 and perimeter equals to 9.04. So you have 9.04. So uh, this will be the end of my solution to question 4. So in the next video, I will solve question 5. Until then, have your fingers crossed.